but let's talk a bit about backpacks. Now, a while back I reviewed this guy. This is the Boss Beaver from Millspec Monkey. Uh, did me well on deployment, great bag overall. But this one's in camo, no good for more day-to-day uh, -day usage outside of work. When I went to SHOT Show 2018, picked up this guy, Camelback Urban Assault. Stupid name, but very good bag. Particularly big fan of the uh, contouring and the layout of the space mesh on the back here. Great straps, tons of organization. Turns out too much organization. Couldn't fucking find anything inside it whenever I wanted to. So, my good friend, Millspec Monkey, top bloke. He released this. This is the CYOA Choose Your Own Adventure backpack. Saw it was released and I said to him, hey, can I, uh, can I get one of those and uh, you know review it? And he said, yeah, so sweet. And here we are. Uh, I've had this for a good few months now. I've spent quite a lot of time with it, many dozens of hours with it actually on my back. So I can happily say this is a review. I haven't just pulled this out of the packet. This is not just an initial overview and, and uh, sort of going over the, pro the features of the product and review it. Um, I've been very happy with it. I took this to SHOT Show this year and your SHOT Show bag has to be good. Whatever you're gonna be carrying around for you know, something in the region of about 30 hours, if you actually do the full show or, and you know, most of the hours every day, it needs to be a good bag. It needs to have good organization. It needs to be comfortable. It needs to be well made, of course, for the traveling. So let's put this down on the table. Let's go through the features and uh, we'll talk about the details. First thing to mention, yes, by default, this area of the pack is covered in PALS webbing and there's some loop on the PALS in this area. However, I've taken that off just because I didn't need it and it looks a bit plainer, a bit more inconspicuous without it. So five, 10 minutes with a seam ripper took all the uh, PALS off of there. Now, as I say, pack's called the CYOA, Choose Your Own Adventure. It's a little harp back to those books you maybe read in the 90s when it was like, you've encountered a dragon, fight it, turn to page 12, don't fight it, turn to page three, 33, whatever. Um, and the reason for that is because the inside of this bag, as you'll see in a moment, is absolutely full of loop. So it's fully modular on the inside uh, for all sorts of pouches that other companies make so you can lay out the thing however you like on the inside. That's the sort of main flagship feature, should we say, on this pack. Let's start on the outside. What have we got? It comes with some nice bungee, cord lock, adjustable, great for stashing, just shove a, a rain jacket or whatever into there. Can be removed, of course, if you don't want it very, very easily. Three main segments to the pack. This very front pouch is gonna be for stuff like your business cards, phone, charger, little things. There's some little dividers on the inside there. Just hold a notepad, hold a multi-tool, all that kind of stuff, usual thing. The good thing is there's enough organization room for those small items without there being so much that you lose everything, which is the problem I had with the Camelback bag, even though it was a good bag. Just uh, too easy to lose stuff inside of it and forget where you've placed things. Not a problem here, only three main pockets. Small one on the front for your small items, as I say. There is a loop field. Again, you could remove this if you wanted. I think it's not too over the top. It's not too tactical uh, looking. Um, so good for just a patch on there if you want. Underneath, there's pals, a couple of rows there. Sides are covered in pals, we'll go over that in a sec. On the top, one and a half inch webbing sewn into a nice grab handle. There is the webbing so that you could mount this to the back of a plate carrier with side release buckles, but I, it's a bit too big of a bag for that really. Either side of the grab handle, you've got hook loop closures, yeah, comms cables, headphones, camelback tubes through those if you want. And this segment here, you have a separate area for your, uh, for that's mainly aimed at camelback, but it, it's good for like documents against the wearer's back. 
just simple, it's just plain Cordura. The one thing I do miss with this is space and mesh padding on the rear. I wish it, I wish that had that, I have to say personally, but I know some people don't like it. Shoulder straps, so we've got a two inch webbing coming down into a padded section. As you can see, lots of space and mesh, multi layers of it here, nice and comfortable, breathable. One inch webbing, one inch elastic, one inch webbing, so that's PALS compatible. D-ring, adjustable height on the sternum strap. Sternum strap comes on, releasable one inch buckle. So if you want to take that buckle off, you can do so. And as I say, fully adjustable for height on that, which is good for all different builds. And of course, comes with some Velcro one wrap to roll up the end part, but you can open that right up. Really change the size and position of that sternum strap. Now, again, releasable field repair type, one inch buckles down here if you want to go to a messenger bag type thing real easy unclip those boom and you are one strap in it if you don't want the straps in at all you can tuck them in where the hydro reservoir goes you can tuck these things in this little sort of a pass through down here Lots of options. So again, so you know, as I say, you've got that, you've got either two strap, one strap, or you can just no straps at all. You can't remove the main shoulder straps entirely because there aren't any clips up here, but you can tuck them away. The bag does come with a one and a half inch waist belt. Um, you can just unthread it and remove it. And then you can't remove these tri-glides that hold it, but you can tuck them away so that they are completely unnoticeable in that pass through section and I forget those are even there. Now, apart from being fully lined with loops, the great thing about this bag is it's got all this pals on the side and what you, it comes with is a big old bag. I'm talking like a serious amount of hardware for you to customize it however you like. It's, it's sort of like a HSP flat pack in terms of you, you can uh, you can uh, you can open it right up like so or you can use all this hardware to adjust it down and get it real slim like that what you're going to get is and this is just an example i've got some set up here i've got g hooks one inch webbing it comes with it's going to be color matched to whatever bag you buy we've got some field repair ladder locks on there so that will be adjustable for size through those recommend double threading your g hooks like that by the way and go in over the top just like this millsplate monkey's got a video to show you how to create like a gate on the g hooks so they don't come undone in it but you get absolutely tons of stuff so that was the label that was originally on top of the bag but i took that off to need it so you're getting tons of one inch webbing loads of field repair type side release buckles pretty good more g-hooks got this different type of field repair one inch female as well plus all the uh, g-hooks and the ladder locks here's the quasm there's a surface mount one inch and there is a ton of options you can set these side straps up uh, so many ways there are six points one inch webbing on either side so one two three on the front then one two three on the rear so however what you want to set up those compression straps um, for whatever style of adjustment whether you want to be able to take them on and off quickly all those options are there and this is just all this just is included in the price it just comes inside the bag my personal preference what i do is when i'm traveling when i'm on the flight have it opened up get the maximum capacity that you're allowed and you've got these things here these are called slick clips all they are they're basically an s shape you see there they just undo on the two sides so if you uh it comes with six of these if you undo that take this section of the pals bring it back in hook that and then you compress that whole thing right down and like when I'm walking around shot show I just compress it right down because I'm not carrying much stuff and then open it back up again when I'm flying home but again because everything included all this hardware 
all the pals, it's all one inch webbing, absolutely everything is one inch. You have got an absolute ton of options. Both the primary and secondary pockets are pretty much a clamshell opening type. And as I say, they're full of loop. So here's the outer one, reasonable depth to it, good space, completely full of loop, real thick, like this is like the high, high quality shit as far as Velcro goes. Um, does add a little bit of bulk and weight to the bag. This is a two pound, 12 ounce bag, empty. Uh, so it's not the lightest, but does make up for it in features, I would have to say. So that's your secondary compartment, as I call it. And here is the main compartment. Quite a significant depth to it, or that's when it's fully expanded anyway. You've got a nylon pack liner cloth in there. And now personally, this loop feature, I don't really use it. I don't carry lots of small things that I need to organize in these pockets. Um, but if you do, you know, that, that's why it's there. I've picked up one of these Tac Taylor RRPS. Uh, it's a hook backed pouch. So, you know, you can just, I'll just put that in there. It's just a mesh bag. I think this is their medium mesh, I want to say. I'll just place it at the top of the bag. So when you open it, when you set it down on the ground, you open the top, any small items you want immediately available, you can just put it, uh, put them up there. And the lid on it tucks away pretty nicely. So it's kind of hidden under the, the lid of the thing. But yeah, there's nothing else on the inside other than all this loop, because that's the idea. You can get um, Tac Taylor and Maxpedition and Blue Force Gear, actually all three of them do a pretty extensive line of pouches that you can just slap inside these things wherever the hell you like, rear surface and front surface. There's a lot of room. So if you, I don't know, if you run tons of camera gear and you've got lots of electronics, lenses, whatever the hell, lay it all out however you like. Medical kit, if you are just that real OCD organizational guy or lady, excuse me, um, then great in that sense, buy all your little pouches. Max position, do like clear fronted ones. There's all sorts of stuff and you can just lay out these segments, however the hell you like, label them all up if you want, all good stuff. There will obviously be a link down in the description to the Millspec Monkey web store. Great store. I, uh, I ordered from them many a time, long before I ever met uh, Clayton, his, his name is the Millspec Monkey, at SHOT Show. Ordered really great selection of stuff. Um, obviously they got all the MSM patches and all sorts of just handy tactical gear, really medical gear, morale stuff, backpacks, knives, um, all just good shit. So yeah, there we go guys, the MSM Choose Your Own Adventure backpack. And uh, if you pick one up, make sure you do take on plenty of adventures. Oh, features I forgot to mention, zips, reverse zips, seriously heavy duty, coil type, plastic, Holes on each one, 550 cord, paracord, knot, gap, knot, great to get a good grip on. As I say, seriously thick, burly duty, like heavy duty zips on there. Paracord sheath pull on the smaller admin pocket. Again, a reverse zip, coil type, plastic, probably YKK, I'd imagine, high quality either way. Main material is 500D Cordura. This comes in tons of colors. Uh, that's the main points covered, really. Check out the link below. If you want to see more gear type content, check out my social media links again, as per usual with every fucking YouTube channel down in the description. Cheers for watching, folks. I'll see you next time.